Black Tie Weekend. doing a complete makeover for my master bedroom's bathroom. I try to do at least two projects a year and this is one of my first projects which is my bathroom. I tried to budget it under $200 but as I started I realized that if I'm going to change out fixtures and toilet seats and all of that I'm going to have to keep it under $300 so that's exactly what I did so I would say on average it averaged out to be um, about $250 to redo my whole bathroom which isn't bad. Um, so let's just get started. <clears throat> so the first thing I'm going to show you is the toilet seat that I decided to get, <clears throat> which is this right here. It is one of the silent closers and I got this from Lowe's and this was, I believe, $15. So I'm going to change out the toilet seat and I'm going to do all the fixtures first so that you guys can just see. And this is the um paper i mean toilet tissue holder that i'm going to have uh, screwed into the wall and i've also ordered one for the towel rack and that's really it oh and then the um outlet covers i changed them to stainless steel as well but i haven't gotten those in yet but those will be added so <clears throat> the shower curtain is right here i purchased this from marshall's it was 15 dollars. i wanted to do something different but classy so I really like this print and I think it'll go great with the colors that I picked <clears throat> and well going into the shower curtain I'm going to just show you guys the towels that I'll be using for the towel rack so I got a big one a medium and a small one and I'll probably show you guys exactly at the end how I managed to put these together to um, for a look that I'm going for so those are the towels that I'll be using this is the and I got those all from Marshall's and the small one was $3.99 the medium was $4.99 and the big one was $5.99 and this I got from a place called Ross this is the uh, toilet brush cleaner, and I got this for, for $10, and the quality of it is really amazing, so I'm really excited about that. And this is the, I also got from Ross, this is the shower caddy. I needed another one of these because the one that I have in there now is like a brown color, and since I'm changing everything out, I got this, and this was $10. <clears throat> Next is the toothbrush holder. It's just made like that, really simple. And a lot of people put lotion in here, but I actually put my soap in here. So this was $12.99. This one was $5.99. And then I got this to go in the middle of the sink. And I'm going to decorate that, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that later. This was $8 with $7.99. So that's that. Then I brought this um, picture also from Lowe's. There's actually two pictures in here. One says relax and one says calm. And um, my whole bathroom used to be seashells. I love it because I just feel like it feels um, just like peaceful. And when you think about water, it kind of goes with the theme. So I got these pictures on sale. They were marked on sale for $7.99. But when I got up there, they were only $2.00. So that was a steal. <clears throat> uh, I got the trash can from Ross as well. This was only $8. So if you guys have Ross where you live, you may want to check that out. And I thought that is this is a really good quality trash can. So <clears throat> a little decor. This was on sale in Marshalls for $3. And I'm actually taking my seashells because I didn't want to give them all away and just take the whole seashell theme away because I really like that. Um, I'm going to fill this up with seashells just for decor, and it's actually going to go um, in the corner on my sink just for a decor, but I'll show you guys that in the ending. And I purchased this not knowing that it was a real plant from Ikea. This was $10. I should have known it was $10, but this is what it looks like. 
And I plan on putting this over on the jacuzzi just for decor. Well, it's going to have to go over there now because it's going to need sunlight. So you see the sun shining in. That's what it'll be. And then I got these balls right here, the uh, vase fillers. I thought these were really, really pretty. I got these from Ross. These were $7. And I'm going to um, fill up some of it with this the small vase that I showed you guys. But the ones that I can't use, I'm probably going to use them for something else. And then speaking of vases, I found this beautiful, beautiful vase at Home Goods, which I think is so beautiful. I got this for $8. And these are the flowers that I got from Walmart. For a dollar a piece, I just got four of them to go inside like this. So, I thought that would be really, really cute to put uh, on the jacuzzi as well for decor. <clears throat> and then, last but not least, on to the rugs. So, I got this set of rugs. I had to get two sets of this same rug. So I had to get two different colors. I got it in this color. These were $15 a piece and as well as gray because I needed two big rugs, one for in front of the jacuzzi, one for in front of the shower. And then I have his and her sinks. So I had to get another one. So I'm gonna mix up the colors. I don't want it to all be the same because I'm just different like that. And that is that. So the only thing that I have left now is to get uh, my towel holder to come in and I'm going to grab two more pictures when I find them, but then I'll come back and show you guys the finished results. Okay, so this is what the bathroom looks like now, as you guys can see. I just did the basic like browns and tans and that's the his and hers. And those are the towels and these are the rugs that I have now now. And again, it was all seashell themed, so there's my little seashell curtain. And these are my little pictures that I had up on the wall. And there's the curtains. And I do want to keep the same curtains though. And then I, I am going to use these seashells in one of the projects that I'm doing. I'll mind my daughter's stuff. That's for when she comes in here to bay. Let me see if I can get the cover going. Okay, so I did all seashells around here. There's my pillow, and then there's like my bath, a beach, um, bath and stuff. And then these are some more pictures. And then that's the toilet, the trash can, the um, tissue holder, and don't mind me. And then we are back to the door. And then up here is a picture of my daughter. So that is the bathroom tour. Okay guys, so this is the finished results. I changed out all of these fixtures to the stainless steel, which looks so much better. I put a little towel rack in. This is something that I decorated myself. I just incorporated the shells that I had. I brought some sand from Ikea, and then I just put it inside of there. This is what the decor on the sink looks like. I put this together from the bag that I have from um, home goods and I just mixed it in throughout and I just put my little own detailing in and these are the towels that I chose and that is the plant from Ikea there's Jaja there's another picture that I had these are the rugs I love the color scheme in here because it just brightens up the room and then on the jacuzzi I just decided to add a candle there's the base that I put together and I took the old thing that I had in the middle of my sink and I put that over there. The curtains I took out a wash and I just hung them back up like so. These are the pictures that I brought from Lowe's. This is the shower curtain that I opted for and inside of here that is the caddy that's stainless steel that I think is really nice and I just added the stainless steel hooks. And then that is another picture that I got that was really cute. And then I added this, and this is the um, tissue holder. We put that in, and then the toilet, and that is it. So that is the full makeover of the bathroom. And this is just an overview of what Jael's bathroom turned out to be. 
I did Shopkins theme and this is some tutus that I brought and I cut up that was really inexpensive and this is how I did her little towel scheme. This is the shower curtain that I think is really, really adorable. And we just opted to do purple everything to match her trash can. And here is a little rug. And we also put in this towel holder for her. And again, the stainless steel detailing. And that is Jael Shopkins bathroom. I thought it turned out really well. And it said brush and wash. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick makeover tutorial. Until next time, YouTube. Bye.